there, vape fans. It's Zay here with another product spotlight video from Mount Baker Vapor. Today we're going to be introducing the Kanger Mini Subbox Starter Kit. So let's open this bad boy up and see what we have. Really cool box folding open and you have everything that's going to be the inside and you have your starter manual and they have the make sure you drip and saturate your wicks before you vape or else you're going to get disgusting burn hits. Here we have the battery and the tank, both looking awesome as always. This is what it's going to look like put together. Mine looks pretty cool because I switched out some of the pieces from the red and black starter kit. I just like the way it is. It's kind of my Frankenstein vape. All right, so now we have your tank and your battery. I'll show you how to disassemble the tank and then we can move on to the battery after that. All right, so you have your tank right here. You can go ahead and pop your drip tip off. Oops. If you want to unscrew the bottom, go ahead and pop your coil out. And there it is. You are completely done with the disassemblement of your tank. All right, so we have a tank. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to replace your coil. You're just going to unscrew the base. Unscrew your coil. You grab your new one. Use new one. You just put it back in. And you are good to go. All right, so here is the battery casing itself. You see you can take off the black back plate. And it's really cool because it is magnetized, so you don't have to worry about screws for getting your battery out. Also, you do have your pass-through charging right here, so you can charge while you're on your phone or playing on the computer or whatever you may be doing. I'll go ahead and show you guys the display. Instead, you can take your back plate out. Your battery is going to go in upside down. Just forewarning for all you guys out there. Right here, it has a really nice display on it. Your battery is going to go up in 0.1 increments, so you can go ahead and hit your plus and obviously your wattage is going to go up or you're down and your wattage is going to go down. All right, so your sub box mini starter kit is going to go from 7 watts all the way up to 50 watts so you can um, put in your 1.5 ohm coil and still get the vape that you like or put in your 0.5 ohm coil and vape at 50 watts if you want, whatever is going to get you your sweet spot. It's going to go down to 0.3 ohms so whether or not you can get um, a different RDA or a tank on there. That's going to be a cue, so just know that it is going to go down to 0.3 ohms. It's going to be five clicks to turn the battery on and off. And back on. It has the OLED screen display. It's a really nice display, honestly. Um, very clear to read. It's just really easy. So depending on what hand you're going to be vaping in, it just makes it a whole lot better that they added this. If you hold the plus and minus button, you're going to flip the orientation of the display. So now it's it's either going to be upside down or right side up, depending on the way you're looking at it. See, and now it's back to normal. Like a lot of the batteries out there, it's going to have your reverse battery protection, like I'd mentioned earlier. So whether or not it is in upside down or it isn't, you're going to know it's going to vape or it's not going to vape. And it has a 10 second cutoff as well, so in case it you're hitting the button when it's in your pocket or doing something, it will cut off in 10 seconds so you don't have to worry about it messing up your tank or RDA or whatever you may be using. So under your battery and your tank, you're going to have everything else that the kit includes. Here you're going to have your USB charger, where it's going to plug into your outlet if you have the adapter for it or your computer. You're going to have your organic cotton for your RBA a screwdriver and extra screws if you do need it for your RBA. The tank is going to come installed with the 0.5 ohm coil and you're going to have the 1.5 ohm coil in the box as well. And here is the new updated RBA head. You're going to need to get a screwdriver and unscrew this screw in here to completely disassemble it. Make sure you don't lose that screw because it is really tiny and I lost it the first time. So you can go ahead and take your top cap off and then you can pull the deck right out of the casing and it is installed with a coil already. I'm pretty sure that comes out to 0.5 ohms and just to show you guys, let's take it all apart.
And there's little channels for your leads, which is pretty cool after you get your screws out. It'll set right down in there, so it's a lot easier to screw it down and you can keep it in place. Your coil will stay in place way better than a lot of the RDAs that are out there. So these are the new updated coils that Kangara has put out with their Subbox Mini Starter Kit. They're updated, they have a vertical coil inside of them, so it's going to give you a lot better airflow and vapor production. And they also have larger wicking holes on the coils, so you're going to be able to wick your juice a lot faster, and it's going to be overall a better vape for you. Alright vape fans, that's all for today for the Subbox Mini Starter Kit. If you liked the video, go ahead and comment and subscribe. And as always, vape for your own life.